Welcome back to Mr. Scott Maths. In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the volume of a sphere. Though if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover, please just leave a comment down below and I'll get to that video as soon as I can. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. So in this video, we're looking at the volume of a sphere. And the key thing we need to remember for the volume of a sphere is its formula. So the, vo the formula for the volume of a sphere is that the volume equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed, where r is going to be the radius of our sphere. So remember, that's the distance from the center out to the edge. That's our radius. So in this first example here, this sphere has a radius of 8 centimeters. So this is distance from the, the center of the sphere out to the edge is 8 centimeters. So we need to put that 8 centimeters, put that 8 into our formula for our r. So we get 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 8 cubed. So we've substituted the 8 in for our r. Now we can use a calculator to work out what we get if we did that calculation. So if we've got one of these Casio calculators, we can put that fraction in, that 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by that 8 cubed. And then when we press equals, we want to convert it, of course, into a decimal. We get, well, quite a horrible answer, 2144.660585. Now, what we want to do at this point is we want to round that. And, well, let's round it to one decimal place. So if you're rounding this to one decimal place, we need to look at the digit after that first decimal place. That's a 6. So we're going to round our one decimal place, our first decimal place, up to a 7. So we get 2144.7 to one decimal place. So 2144.7. And of course, we've got to have our units as well. Because we're using centimetres for our radius, we're going to use centimetres cubed for our volume. So it's going to be 2144.7 centimetres cubed. And that is, of course, rounded to one decimal place. Okay, now here's another example. This time, we've got a radius of 3 centimetres. So we're still going to use that same formula, that 4 over 3 pi r cubed. But this time, of course, instead of substituting an 8 in for our r, we've got to substitute in a 3. So what we're going to get, we're going to get 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 3 cubed. And, of course, we're going to put this one into our calculator. So again... We want to put that fraction in, that 4 over 3, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 3 cubed. So that's 3 times 3 times 3, of course. Press and equals, converting it into a decimal, we get another horrible decimal there, 113.0973355. If we then round this up to one decimal place, we've got to look at the second decimal place. We've got a 9, it's bigger than 5, so again we're going to round up. And we'd round up to 113.1. So we've got 113.1. And of course, it's, our units are still going to be that centimetres cubed. And that's an answer to one decimal place. Now you'll see in this next example, our 22 centimetre distance goes all the way across our sphere. So this time we don't actually have the radius of the sphere, we have the diameter. So to get the radius, we need to divide this 22 in half. Well, 22 divided by 2 is going to give us 11. So our radius, just halfway across from the centre to the edge, will be 11 centimetres. And that's the number that we want to plug in to our formula. So this time we'll have 4 over 3. Still that 4 over 3, still multiplied by pi. And now this time multiplied by 11 cubed. And this is what we want to put into our calculator. So 4 over 3 multiplied by pi. Oops. Multiplied by pi multiplied by 11 cubed. And converting it into a decimal this time, we've got 5575.279763. And again, let's look at converting this or rounding this to one decimal place. Well, our second decimal place is a 7, so we're going to round up again. Around this 2 up to a 3, we get 
three. So five thousand five hundred and seventy five point three. And again, we're using centimeters, so it's going to be centimeters cubed for our volume. And just to make sure we're saying that that's to one decimal place. OK, there's going to be a couple of examples for you to have a go at. Now, the first of these, we've got this measurement of five centimeters here on this sphere. Pause the video for a moment to see if you can work out the volume. OK, going through this one then. We'll see this time our measurement is from the center to the edge, not all the way across, and we do have a radius this time. So all we need to do is plug this 5 into our formula. So we'll have 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 5 cubed, which of course we want to put into our calculator. So 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 5 cubed and it gives us an answer of 523.5987756, which again, we want to turn into one decimal place. We want to round it to one decimal place. So our second decimal place here is a nine. So we're going to round this five up to a six. So we'd get 523.6. So 523.6. And again, still using centimeters, still going to have our answer in centimeters cubed. And that is to one decimal place. Okay, now one more question for you to have a go at. This time we have a measurement of 12 centimeters on this sphere. Can we find the volume? Just pause the video for a moment and I'll go through it in a second. Okay, so this time we don't have the radius because of course it goes all the way across our sphere. We do have the diameter. So we need to find what the radius would be and that's just going to be half of this 12. So if we divided 12 by two, 12 divided by 2, that will give us 6. So our measurement from the centre to the edge is going to be 6 centimetres. So our radius will be 6. That's what we've got to plug in to our formula. So we'll have 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 6 cubed. And that's what we want to type in to our calculator. So 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 6 cubed and that gives us an answer of 904.7786842 which if we want to round to one decimal place well our second decimal place is a 7 it's bigger than 5 so we round up the 7 becomes an 8 so 904.8 so the answer we get to one decimal place 904.8 still using centimeters so our answer is still going to be centimeters cubed and that is to one decimal place. Make sure to like and subscribe for more math videos.